What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to render a video transparent in Vegas Pro 15. So here we are in Vegas Pro 15, and I've just created some simple text, which is sliding text. Pretty simple. So as you can see, it is text by itself on the video track, but by default it does come with a black background. So we're going to be rendering it, of course, without a background. So first thing first, make sure this is set to best and full. Then you want to double click your video that, or whatever's here and then make sure the render regions are in the correct places. From here you want to come up to render as. Now you're going to be selecting quick time 7. Now by default it should already be here. If it's not a download link to this will be in the description and yes it is 100% free. From here you're going to select 3 megabytes video and you're going to select customize template. So straight away you can see the frame size is completely off. So what we're going to be doing is changing this. Now of course YouTube is either 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080. If you're using anything lower than this in 2018, you definitely need to change. So I'm going to be picking 1920 by 1080 and then the frame rate. Again, if anyone's using 15 frames in 2018, you really need to upgrade. I do recommend anything above 24 frames. For me, I'm going to be picking uh, 60 FPS because that's what I always use now. And then for the video format, we're going to be changing this to PNG. As for the compressed depth, we'll be changing this to 32. The quality should be set to high. And then we are done for the video tab. We're going to head over to the audio tab. If you have audio in your video, then by all means, you can keep this. Since I don't, I can uncheck it. For streaming, we can uncheck this simply because it's definitely not going to be useful for us. And then for project, we're going to select the video rendering quality to best. And from here, believe it or not, we are done. Now where it says template, you're going to call this transparent or anything you want to. From here, you want to select this save template button. Now what this will do, if I X out of this, and then we come back, as you can see, transparent render will be here and this will have all them exact same settings we just created saved by default, meaning we won't have to do them same steps again. So all I'm going to do is select that, make sure you've choose, uh, chosen your folder, make sure you've renamed it. I'll just call this test and select render. Now the rendering time is going to be a bit longer than normal. You can see it is just some basic simple text sliding in. However, because we're doing it without the background, it's going to take a bit more time. And there we go, as you can see it is now completed. I'm going to close out of this and I'm going to drag that file into Vegas. So as you can see here it is, of course we didn't include the audio, hence why there is no audio track added with it. And right now it looks pretty much the same. It has a black background to it again. However, what I'm going to be doing is getting a clip and I'll be adding something underneath it and you'll see that we won't even be able to see our clip just yet because there is also another step we need to take. So you can see there is a clip underneath and the final step you need to do once you uh, drag in the exported version, you would need to right click it, select properties from here, select media. And from media, you're going to select where it says alpha channel and you're going to select straight unmatted. Select that and select OK. As you can see, there's no background to it and the text is free. So. I'll play this through from here. We're going to have a bit of video and then the text is going to come in just like that. You can see it is also kept in the same position that we created it at, except with outer background. So that's it. It's super simple to do. Now also, just like all of my lower thirds I show you with throughout the video, for those that don't know what lower thirds are, it's what you see in all of my videos where I have this popping up. I done the exact same thing for this. So right click, properties, media, and then I change this from alpha channel to straight and matted, select OK. As you can see, that is now completed. So I created my lower thirds using the exact same steps. As you can see, it's a lot quicker than going to uh, chroma key and keying out a green screen background.